Hi, it's Helen, the Dynamic Dipper from Morkham Bay. I'm not in Morkham Bay today, um, I'm at Lovely Ullswater near Penry. Okay, so um, about an hour ago we came down to the lake to, um, to get ready to go and swim, but it was raining and so I got quite wet before I got back to the car. So um, I, I put my socks on, um, ordinarily I wouldn't do before I've gone swimming, but um, that's what's happened today because it was pretty cold um, and we were pretty wet. So we all piled into the car and uh, put the dryers on, the blowers on and dried our coats and things. So um, a couple of things that I wanted to suggest for today. Sometimes you don't always feel like going for a swim when it's particularly cold. And for people that are trying to swim throughout winter, sometimes the idea of it when you look out the window is a little bit off-putting. Um, so there's two things to keep in mind, really. One, that um, you can be certain that you'll always get warm. So with the right equipment and the right dressing procedure, you will get warm quite quickly. And so you can try and prevent that drop off from happening. And the second thing is, is that you have to uh, consciously remember how the water felt on your skin the last time you were in. So the anticipation of getting in and of going under is worse than actually being in. Once you're in, it's fine, isn't it? Um, and actually it's really quite glorious and you really enjoy it. And so you have to consciously remember how that feels. Um, write it down from the last time you went swimming, you know, after, you, after you've gone swimming, you write down how you felt and what it felt like and how you feel now once you've been swimming. And you can refer back to that on the days that you don't feel like going for a swim. You look out the window and then you know you should do, but actually um, the conditions aren't great and you don't feel like it. So at the start of this video, uh, I posted a photo of the kits that you should take when you're trying to swim throughout the winter um, in costume, goggles and hat, and also a photo of additional things if you're wanting to swim with wetsuit and boots, gloves and thermal hat. And so um, I'm going to go in now, see how long I last. It's about nine and a half degrees, I think, ten, nine and a half, ten. Um, and so I'll see how long I last. And then when I get out, um, we'll talk about um, dressing procedure um, and, and what I've brought with me. Okay, see you in a bit. First thing is socks. Socks. After you've dried your legs. Okay. Goggles and hat off. Goggles keeping on. that heat in your hat for as long as possible. Then putting another hat on. And then another. Really locking that heat in where you're losing the most heat. Then a thermal top. So a thermal vest. Thermal top. You want to do this process as quickly as possible to stop your body from losing its core temperature. Then the Alp Kit coat, which is down and very, very warm. Best coat I've ever owned. Okay. Then we're putting the ultra hot slippers on. Okay, These are from Primark, they're just thermal. What did you call them? They're thin -sulate. Oh, thin -sulate. Okay. What did you call them? Sleeping bags for your feet? Sleeping bags for your feet. And then your trousers and on. And then just normal trousers. You're only bothered about keeping your core temperature warm. Okay. So if, if when this, I've got this on and I'm not warm enough, then I start to feel after drop. Can you explain what after drop is? Where you feel this is very chill and you start to shake. Okay. And feel just generally unwell. If, I, if it's not warm enough, I'll put this fleece on over the thermal vest, the thermal top, then I'll put the fleece on and then I'll put this on, okay? 
normal trousers, okay? These are just some scruffy trousers, bleach on them and everything. But we're not going anywhere. We're just getting changed after our swim, okay? So all of these things have been wrapped around. <laughs> all of these things have been wrapped around. There we are. My hot water bottle, okay? So this morning when I packed my bag, I did my hot water bottle and I wrapped my thermal vest and my thermal top and my fleece around my hot water bottle. So these things feel warm here at my core, okay? And then if I'm not warm enough, after that, I'll put my dry robe on. But ordinarily, I am warm enough, even when it's really, really cold through January and February. This is like the best coat ever. And it's really, really warm. So it keeps, it keeps my body temperature, my core temperature, really, really warm. Okay, so that's it. Oh, and what's this as well? Okay, yeah, so also your cup of tea, it's like the main thing, isn't it? Um, I've already had trifle before I went in the water, so I haven't got any allowances left for cake. Oh no, you've got, you've got a Twix. Uh, but I've got a Twix. A Twix and a cup of tea is what we're going to be doing. And um, a warm drink is obviously the most important thing. So I think I've mentioned everything that was on the photograph on the kit list before I set off this morning. Okay, so um, it's important to remember, I'm warm now, okay? So the two things that I mentioned just before about remembering how it feels on your skin and how vit revitalized you feel when you come out, that's really important to keep in mind when you don't feel like going swimming. And then also to know that you will warm up again. It's about five or seven minutes since I got out. I'm warm. My core feels warm. I'm cosy. I feel cosy. And um, just to mention, crocs aren't just for summer. So the reason you bring your crocs is, is to enter the water because it's pebbly and stony and it hurts your feet. And once you're in, you can throw them to the side. And the other thing is that with your, with your fluffy socks on, you, you take your warm slippers off you just pop your feet in there like that. They're still warm, but you're able to walk back to the car. Uh, Multi-versatile for the old Crocs. I'm a big fan of Crocs. Okay, see you later.